So I wanted to show you how to make a holiday light up card like this. This is the finished product. In order to make this project, what you will need is a template that looks like this, as well as some copper wire, which we, the copper tape, which we'll use as the wire, an LED, a battery, and then you'll also need some scissors, some glue, tape, another plain white sheet of paper. Um, I like to use a pin to poke the hole, and then um, some napkins or some extra paper. Okay, so step one in how to make this project is take your copper wire and measure it out. Oh, actually, I should say it's easier if you fold your paper over first, so I'll do that in step one here. So I'll fold my card over. And there's actually one more fold line, which is right here. Like that. Okay. So then what you do next is take your copper wire and you measure it out. So you're going to need two pieces of wire. One of them will go here. Then I just separate the wire from the paper, the adhesive from the paper. Okay. Uh, okay. So you take that, and then I like to, since this stuff tangles easily, um, I like to pull it, set it down, and then pull the paper off as I go like this. Okay. And you need to make sure the wire covers at least part of the battery area. Battery area. It might have been better actually if I'd covered the whole battery area, but that's fine as long as I can make a connection later. And then I do the same thing here. So this one's going to go like this. And cut my wire and then separate the adhesive. And then the key here is just to smooth it out. Okay. Um, the next step is the LED. So you take the LED that you're going to use and notice that there's a positive end, which is the longer side, and a negative end. This matters with LEDs. And then the battery itself, you should notice as well, there's a plus sign here on the top, and so this is the negative side. You want to test that both are working before you go on. So I go like this, putting the positive end on the positive side. And if it lights up, then you know you have a working LED and a working battery, which is great. Um, sometimes when I'm working, I actually take a, a Sharpie and I mark the positive end so I remember. I'm not going to do that here, but um, it can help because when you open up the LED, it can be easy to forget which end is positive and which end is negative. But right now I remember this is the positive end. Okay, so I'm just gonna test this here. I take the battery and I need to fold this over and put my LED down here. And this tells me it's working. So you definitely wanna do the test. If it's not working, one of the first things you can do is slip is um, uh, uh, switch your LED around because maybe you forgot which end is positive and which end is negative. But I can see here, that this is working. So that's great. Um, so then the next thing that you want to do is tape it into position. So I'm just going to take some scotch tape. I'll move my tape a little bit closer here. Hold this down, make sure it's still working. And push down hard on the leads of the LED when you do this, just to make sure you're making a good connection with the copper tape. Sometimes I do this just to make sure everything is in good position. Okay, good. 
So that's lighting up now without me touching it, which is great. Well, I mean, I'm touching, I'm obviously pushing this down on the battery side. Okay, so then the next thing is you want to poke a hole so that this goes through. So I usually, I like to take a pen just to try to get a nice hole so I don't make a mess when I poke my pencil through. So I first weaken the paper right here. And then poke the pencil through so you get a nice hole where the LED is gonna come through. And then just test this, make sure I've lined everything up properly the battery down, press, and I'm getting a nice light, which is terrific. Okay, so then the next step is, pull that up gently. Um, what I wanna do is put the battery in position um, permanently so it doesn't roll around, but the issue is you can't tape it down or you're gonna get interfere with the connection between this copper wire and the battery, and you can't put tape, tape below it for the same reason. So what I like to do is take some napkins, you can take, leftover fast food napkins if you like and um, I just cut them and roll them up like so and then I can tape this closed and I'm going to create a little gate to put around my battery. And what you want is for the gate to be just slightly taller than the battery. And the reason for that is um, if it's slightly taller, it will not only hold the battery in position, but when this whole thing is closed, it will force you to have to push down in order to light this, which is great because you don't want it lighting all the time when somebody's not looking at the card or it's just gonna um, wear down the battery. So this way, you're actually turning it into a button. So I cut these pieces and I actually tape them around the battery like so. And so I'm actually gonna cut um, all four pieces and put them around the battery. Um, and then in addition, I'm gonna cut some more pieces and put them around the card so that when the card is closed, it's not just kind of weirdly bumpy here, but the whole thing has a more unified, um, a more uniform look to it. So I have an example that I've already done, which is here. So I'm gonna take my battery from the other project here and put it in here. So you can see I've made a little gate to surround the battery. And in addition, I've rolled up some, again, these are just napkins and put them around the card. So if I put this down and put this over, you see that if I press, it lights up the card. Now I know this looks strange, but fortunately nobody is actually going to see it when the card is finished because the next step, once you've done this, is to put glue all the way around the outside edge and here. Um, I'm not doing it because I'm gonna show you a complete one in a minute, but they put glue everywhere there including there, and then you're gonna glue everything closed. And you'll notice, I should have said, that I left um, area on the outside edge for glue, so that you're gonna have this, com this completely closed. And once this is glued closed, then you'll take a separate sheet of paper, like this, and this will be your card, and you can actually use cardstock if you'd prefer over paper. And then you will glue that closed piece on here like this and you'll have a finished card and that in fact is what I've done here so you wind up with a complete light up holiday card and that's it